good to do that, but I think a lot, going of, up, a lot of it was spontaneous. Among driving up the crowd. Uh, well, well, a lot 7th of it Avenue and Hacienda right. Heights. But look, the idea that march there, everybody marches to the Capitol, but the idea and, of just uh, running inside, I think, just became like, what do they call that, crowd frenzy? Well, look how much damage. That's uh, the old road there that we used to take yeah, sometimes. You, you don't need a lot of people. I looked at my about dad. One McVeigh, that would be in the sixties. Uh, uh, he didn't have the Pomona freeway. Look what nineteen high. So we'd take the old road to my grandmother's house there and back. But this, sometimes this, this March Fourth thing has been uh, a central tenet for a while, and, and it was almost uh, this like is the Clark plan. My barbershop was on Clark. The truck was supposed to arrest. All the, the seventh avenue used to be a to two lanes no, I, I, I in think the 60s up kind of a narrow dangerous signal. street oh kind of i know nodding yeah. to them because he wanted their votes and he wants their right. nice to have to walk up on his seventh. side he follows he was when he gave that speech on, on uh, six, from school he was looking at a sea of people in front of him you couldn't help but see all the q signs and the q t-shirts <laughs> and the weird q slogans they're all he, gone now. He, he revels in this because he knows my dad, my brother, hardcore that'll do the dirty work. So, uh, yeah, and I my mom. He knew that when he told them, "Hey, go fight," you know, go to the capital. Yeah, I really miss him. He knew there's some people in that crowd. But I'll see him again. I, I mean, how this is not? where we grew I up. So. If I was standing where he was, saying the things he was, I see the heights. It's a beautiful community. Those are the hills. I see the heights. 